Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I thought today we'll do a rhythm lesson on Megadeth's Five Magics. <laughs> Right, so the whole Rust in Peace album, it's in standard tuning, E-A-D-G-B-E, and it starts off with a pretty tricky little riff. And so that needs to be palm muted and it's played pretty aggressively, so. And finishes in the E, but there's no real pointers to play that other than just get your pentatonic sort of picking down. Sorry guys, no shortcuts on how to play that. It's uh it's all alternating, so there's no nothing nothing difficult in the picking, it's just fast and it's And it goes through that a few times and then comes to that uh, Dave Ellison's bass line and uh, the guitars kick in. Guitar one, which is Dave Mustaine. We'll just go slow with that, but there's a few pointers with that. You get a good vibrato, it's nice and slow. Dave does it. So it's a slide up to the seventh on the A, and then the octave on the uh, ninth on the G. And he just repeats that same phrase the whole time. So when Marty joins in as the second guitar number two, he starts on the G sliding up to the 12. And when he finishes, he goes a slide up from the 11th to 12th on the E string. And he just lets that carry out. And at the same time, Dave uh, sort of doubles with the bass line. So Dave's part, I'll just play it really slowly. You might pick it up, but there's a few open strings that ring through this. And that just repeats. So we'll just break it down into the four parts, into the four shapes that he has. The first shape is the seven and five on the A and D. Second shape is on the seventh and eighth. And you let that G ring out and come back to the eighth on the D. Then you move up to the tenth and it's... Follow that. On the second time, you end on the 11th here on the G and you just give it a bit of a vibrato and then go back to play the same thing twice. It's the same same two phrases that he just repeats. All right, and as far as palm muting, I was just heavily palm muting then to try and let you see the picking and the notes that I'm going through, but uh, it's actually very light. He's palm muting really light that whole time and just doing what he can with the left hand to not let the unwanted strings ring out too much. Hopefully I have that. It's 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 not hard. It it's just weird because there are open strings mixed with it that you don't expect to sound the way they do. Then it goes into the next part and it starts on the seventh on the sixth string and you bar across the uh, a and D string. Just have that and then it goes down to the sixth. So the next part of this after the 
you're just barring off the E and uh, A and D string, sorry, and it's. But the way that I actually move my hand to make that easiest for the movement, I just. So you can see it's not hard, but um, it definitely makes it easier the way you move your hand. And I like to. And that sets you up just straight for the next part. That... After that E's ringing out. And then it's just all downstroke palm mutes on that, on the F. You just end on the fifth on the C there. After you hit the, the fifth, there, it's just a... I'll just play through that riff really slowly and hopefully you catch on. So they're just open strings that I'm just doing from the, it's a double on the A there, on the open A. And you catch it on the G. And a bit of a vibrato there. And that riff just keeps going over and over and over until it gets to that crazy lick for Marty Solo, I believe. Right, this this riff, um, I remember when I first learned it, it was a little bit just to get my head around how he's actually doing it. But once I got the feel of it, it was... Um, it wasn't hard at all. It was pretty second nature how how it just flows. What those notes are, I'll just do it really slowly. So the first time after he hits the E, it's just uh, on the F there and you hit the F and the fifth. And then the B, uh, sorry, the F sharp. And then on the G, you hit the G and the octave, not the fifth. It's a good riff to learn because it teaches you there's a lot of there's a lot of lesson in that one riff just to keep keep it really tight otherwise it sounds a bit mushy and it's good for the uh, like string skipping <laughs> So that same sequence of notes that you're doing down there at the end of Marty solo, you transpose that and just move it up to the A bar chords on the E. And this one I find is harder because it's it's hard to get the palm mutes to sound right on these strings because they're higher up. And then you start the descending lick now that, and it starts on the E and it's exactly the same. 
If you notice on those ones, he's just hitting the octave. We're not hitting the fifth. And all that is is just a, a B open. And this riff pretty much repeats. It's probably just the easiest way to just play that slowly like I just did. I don't need to explain it, I don't think. You can see the chords, it's the same progression. And again, when you're pedaling on that F, uh, at the end of it, you hit that um, fifth and then you're just doing uh, triplet bursts on the open E. Okay, at that point, it, the riff changes to that really cool thrash riff. Super easy to play, it's just really fast. But it does tie in, you've got to be aware, um, notice of, it ties in the... So this is... So what that is slowly... Pretty easy, I'm sure you've gotten onto that by now. It's um it's just cool and it's fast, but you have to tie in to keep it clean. And that's how the song finishes, but nice and slow. We'll just do that again. finishes on the G to the E. There's not a great deal to the rhythm parts of this song. It's just really fun to play and one of the great tracks on the Rust in Peace album. So look, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and uh, 